Do you feel like you're barely keeping your head above water? That no matter how hard you try, meaningful progress remains out of reach? Heather gets that. She battled an eating disorder for years before seeking help. Now in recovery, Heather is here to tell you that positive change is possible even when it doesn't feel that way. Join her as she shares openly about her struggles and small triumphs. Fair warning, though. Heather doesn't hold back. Her candid story may trigger some. But for those wanting honesty, hope, and healing, this is 1% Better with Heather. Hey there, my little gaffers, and welcome to 1% Better with Heather. On today's episode, we are going to talk bloating. Okay, let's dive into everyone's favorite subject, bloating. It sucks. It sucks shit. It's horrible. And if you're going through it, you have a friend in me. Now, bloating is going to depend on every individual. Everyone's body is different. Every Everybody's eating disorder is different. It depends on how long you've been in this eating disorder hell and where you are on the spectrum. I'm not taken away from anybody. Sick is sick. However, I can only talk about me. So I was very, very ill. I was the size of my pinky and sick, sick, sick. So when I started eating disorder recovery, December 30th, 2022, this wasn't my first rodeo, but I did the all in approach. So this one tend to work for me. I don't care how you're recovering. If you're working with dietitians and doctors, you do you, man. You do what's right for you. I'm just saying what I did. So the biggest kick in the head is bloating. Why are we bloating? For me, it was because my whole body had been on vacation for uh, a while. And there's nothing in my digestive system. My stomach's on vacation. It doesn't know what food is. And it takes a long time to break down. I was eating the wrong foods in the beginning and that took, you know, it's trial and error, right? So once I figured out what I should be eating, it was a lot better. However, not even going to lie to you. I've had two babies and I swear my stomach was bigger than when I was pregnant at nine months. I have photos. One day I will put them up there when I get some guts. For right now, I'm still chicken shit. So... This is your worst nightmare. You are watching your body change. Every morning I'd wake up and cry. I did not recognize myself in the mirror. To hit me another good blow, I got edema. What is edema? It is ex of excess swelling. Bullshit. It is like severe. It's the worst thing ever. I look like the girl at a Willy Wonka when she turns blue and you roll her out of the room. Now, I didn't find out about this product, and I'm going to talk about a product. I'm not paid to say anything about this product. This is stuff that I like. No one pays me to do anything. I wish they did, but they don't. So this is where we are. I found this in the summer. So I was already six months into my recovery. And that stomach bloat, it's like my Roman Empire, man. It, God, it just, it, it, fuck, you just don't want to recover after a while. You're like, this is bullshit. You're not the only one thinking it, man. But unfortunately, this is just how the human body works. And I always say, think about a baby when they're like infants and you're feeding them and they get really bad gas and they're getting bloated and they're crying all night. Whole new sympathy for babies. So if, like cut your baby some slack. <laughs> I totally get it. So this product is called Gut FX Formula. I got it at a health food store. You can buy it on Amazon. Now, results are going to vary. For me, three days. Three days and I noticed a huge difference. I take it First thing in the morning, it's the first thing that goes into my body. If you're watching on YouTube, you will see uh, the container's almost empty. It comes with this fancy dancy little oops, scoopy thingy, right? It's not a lot. It's maybe, what do you think that is? A tablespoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half. It's not that much. 
put it in some water, chug it back. Game changer for me. It totally helped me. Like I say, it helped me. I don't know if it's going to help you. I'm not guaranteeing anyone any results. But, you know, I, I'm a big magic potion person. And I will try anything. <laughs> I'll be honest. If there is a wives, what do you call that? Like a home remedy, home remedy, wives tale, anything along those lines, I'm doing it. So I will, I will try anything because really at the end of the day, I just, I, I'm like, I can't do this. I just, I can't, I can't keep doing this, but highly, highly recommend game changer. And when you're feeling better about yourself, because recovery, like, let's face it, like you probably feel like garbage all day and you're bloating and you got gas and you're, if you're me, you're crying your eyeballs out. It's hard to want to stay on that recovery train when you just feel like a bag of shit. So if you can introduce some things that maybe help, God, even if it helps like 5%, that's better than what it was before, right? So again, Gut FX formula. Find it on Amazon. Hey, let me know if it works for you. 1% better every day. That's all for this episode of 1% Better. To continue the conversation, head over to our website at www.1percentbetter.ca, where you can access more stories and resources. We'd also love it if you subscribed and left us a review on your favorite podcast platform. And remember, friends, progress takes patience, perspective, and sometimes a little help from people who get it. So be kind to yourself and others as we work to get 1% better every day. We'll see you back here next week.